Hello there. Welcome to a Tyke Farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ding a ling ding dong, the bell. Tuesday morning, 8 o'clock, three men on site working in the piggery. We're back on the roadway, two on the roadway. Um, we finished the gates as such, just one gate needs a bit of paint. Um, and sorry today starting on the guttering. So we'll see how we go with that today. That'll be a good step forward, fill that bloody water tank. Now, a while ago, a few videos ago, I was talking about um, disinfectant and using coconut vinegar, which is available locally just around the corner from here. And it's a very cheap um, commodity rather than um, bought-in chemicals. And someone left, left a comment that uh, it might effect, affect the cesspit and the pH of the cesspit. So I've been looking into that and um, the pH of a cesspit uh, needs to be around neutral, which is 7. Um, you can drop to five, four and a half, okay. But if it goes up to nine or above, then the bacteria which uh, compost the muck is inhibited and it encourages the yeast to grow when it's acidic. And that then causes bad odors. But, um, Vinegar and baking soda don't affect the pH at all. It's safe to use, so that's a good thing. So I've got a cheap disinfectant, which you can make yourself and add various things to it for cleaning, disinfecting, all sorts of recipes on the internet. Um, but I will test the waste. I'll order that from Shoppy today. Little strips of paper which change colour. And you can test anything, soil, different plants prefer different acidity in soil for example. Um, and uh, I can test periodically the the pig muck and water going out into the septic tank. Septic tank. And if I'm neutral, or just a bit below, then I know the septic tank's going to work efficiently. So, I've put my mind at rest for that. So, I'll leave this video there. As usual, I'll make two or three more. And we'll get back to you shortly. It's 12 o'clock. Just starting to drizzle a little bit, so... We'll maybe get rain like yesterday afternoon, hopefully not. So we'll go and see what we've done this morning. Started on the guttering. Yeah, we've got a fair bit up. Halfway done already. And there's. He's welded. I don't know if you can see. He's welded brackets to the roof. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> so. 
so we won't on the way with the roof with the gutters. Lunch is ready. The stove's on gas mark six. Two twenty electric. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. So we're working away. We got the rear bar fitted in the full length. And we concrete poured here. So yeah, we're making better progress today. And if the rain holds off, then I know that we'll get it all done. But I think as I was saying on one of the other videos, the rear bar here, where is it? That'll be bent over 90 degrees and it'll join up with the rear bar here. And then they are bar running the other way. So it's all coming together. Oh, we've done a bit more digging here, I think. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave this video here. I'll do another one this evening. I've got a new selfie stick, and it's got a stabiliser on it. Get that wire out of the way. But I'm not, not using the stabiliser at the minute because I've got a, a plug in mic and the microphone on the camera doesn't pick enough for sound up. And with it being a plug in mic, um, it won't allow the stabiliser to stabilise properly. So I need to get uh, a Bluetooth mic. Okay, I'll leave it there for now. Five to five, the workman has just left. Uh, we had a shower of rain between 12 and 1. Unfortunately, it fined up. And then we've just had another quite heavy shower at half past four. So we've got away with the rain, really. I'll show you what we've done today. We've finished the guttering at this side. We'll be leaving the other side, it doesn't matter for now. But we're uh, collecting all the rainwater off this side of the tank now. And if you can see there, the water running down, that's because the tank's full. When we put an outlet pipe, on here an overflow pipe that will cement be cemented in and it'll fill up more or less to the top we'll put a two inch overflow pipe on it go into the other tank um yeah that's the inlet pipe it's not high enough to flow out of there but the tank's full in the with the rain we've had this afternoon i don't know how low down it was but if we put a, a 10 or 15,000 litre holding tank down there, with the amount of rain coming off this roof, I think we'll be self-sufficient in rainwater, which would be a good thing. But we have the well water as backup as well. So yeah, we finished with gates and guttering. Bit of touching up to do with the gates. The last one has to be painted. It's been rough spruce, but it needs painting. And then we've still got uh, the last coat 
of waterproofing going to go down the aisle and in the rest of the shed. But we're getting ready for pigs coming in. Some things have to be done. And we're getting there, I think. Now the roadway. We've got more or less a full day's work on the roadway. Um, all the VO bars in, tied up. The VO bar out the bottom will be tied up with that VO bar when it's bent over. And we've got all the footings poured. Lunchtime, I thought if it carries on raining, we won't get them poured, but we have, so that's. That's a good thing. So yeah, we've uh, moved forward today. Some days we don't have a lot to show for it, and other days we jump forward. Um, it took Wynn nearly in a fall day by himself to put that gutter in on and making the brackets. He just asked uh, them to help if he can't do it by himself. That's why Ramil lifted it up. Yeah, Ramil helped him when, he, when needed. And this afternoon we've been through the pressure pump and the irrigation controller and what fittings we need. We've got a list of fittings. So I'm starting on that tomorrow. Um, and that should be more or less finished tomorrow, providing we have the right fittings, of course. And there's one or two I need, threaded fittings. Hopefully I'll get them at the local hardware store. And then we'll move, well, sorry, we'll move on to the cabin. Electrics. Hello. The Sari Sari shop. Um, I haven't been down here today. But hopefully I'll be down here tomorrow doing some more painting and uh, keep things pushing along. The wall will be at this high. Oh, it's going to make it that high, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one, it's high in here, going to there. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's t starting to take shape, is this road? Yeah. And from what I understand, it'll be starting concreting up there this week working backwards to here and maybe they'll be happy enough after to compress it down with the uh, wooden stumps we've got maybe they'll pour the concrete on this part as well yeah. when we'll, we'll start, wait and see when it starts to rain like this the soil will it settles down yeah. yeah but there were a lot of stones under that yeah. end so it's, it's not going to sink a great deal that's the deepest part yeah. Tomorrow they're going to remove this form in here yeah. and transfer it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll leave this video there then. And we'll do it all tomorrow on a wet rainy evening.